My name is Remy St. Clair, and I'm here to tell you about the four elements and nine pillars of hip hop. So element number one, we're gonna talk about breaking or b-boying, b-girling, you know what I'm saying, doing your thing, getting your freezes and your head spins. For all of you who don't know what breaking actually is, it is the official dancing art form of hip hop, the official. And it uses moves from uh, very influential things like jazz, capoeira, tap dancing, um, in order to make up the elements of break dancing. You probably know some famous break dancers like Crazy Legs, who is the icon of break dancing. Um, and all this was started in the New York streets in 1973, which was when hip hop actually got the name hip hop or uh, the cultural feeling as a whole, um, pretty much the melting pot got a title. And uh, break dancing was one of those first official art forms which built up the hip hop pedestal. Element number two um, is pretty much what hip hop is most notably known for, rapping. Um, it's the art of rapid wordplay over beats. Um, influences come from jazz and various other things of that nature. Um, classical music, sampling and things of that nature. Um, and MC will put his vocal cords, his voice over that um, and tell a story. Element number three, graffiti. Tagging, um, what is more notably known at, uh, known as, excuse me. Um, it's the art of social commentary within the hood. Um, various political perspectives, um, gang tagging or things of that nature. Uh, individuals from cornbread back in the 70s in Philadelphia all the way up until Banksy now in modern day times um, are infamous for this graffiti or street art in which we like to call it. Um, you see it all over the walls, you see it everywhere. Um, a lot of graffiti artists nowadays have morphed into murals on the sides of walls now. And we have quite a few of those here in Charlottesville. Um, shout outs to JJ and everyone else who are the graffiti artists around here, Mitch Wise and everyone um, who keep the city looking very vibrant with their artistic perspective. All right, element number four is DJing. That's the art of, you know, uh, sampling, making dope beats to move the crowd, uh, having knowledge of various rhyme patterns and rhythms in order to put it together in order to make very beautiful organized noise. Um, it started out in the streets of New York, Bronx in 73. Um, and a block party actually was where hip hop was actually founded. A block party to raise money for DJ Cool Herc's little sister to go back to school. Um, so he found a couple of turntables and actually invented what we call the fader to go from one board to the next. You know what I'm saying? Which in itself was a total game changer. Um, so that's the father of, of DJ and DJ Cool Herc and everything that he has contributed to the hip hop culture we utilize to this very day. And it's one of the reasons why we're the most influential force on the face of this planet. So breaking, rapping, graffiti, and DJing are the first four elements of hip hop. Now I'm gonna let you know about an additional five which make up the nine pillars of hip hop once combined with the first four. Pillar number five. Beatboxing. It is the art of mimicking percussion using your vocal cords. Um, Dougie Fresh is an icon for it. Um, and it takes a lot of practice and a lot of talent. And it's something that really isn't utilized like it used to be in hip hop. But once you see it, prepare to be amazed by it. All right, pillar number six. This is street fashion. Now we've all seen the music videos from back in the day. You know what I'm saying? We see individuals wearing Kangos. We see individuals wearing Adidas. You know what I'm saying? The Adidas track suits, the Dookie chains. All that is a part of hip hop fashion. Um, hip hop fashion is very influential 
especially in modern day times. It's changed up a little bit. You don't see the Dookie chains and stuff like you used to, but you are seeing a lot of urban labels as far as uh, fashion designers and things of that nature. Virgil, white label, rest in peace. Um, very much a part of hip hop culture. Um, hip hop fashion is always evolving. There's no set thing that you have to wear to be a part of the hip hop culture. Just has to be fly, just has to be fresh, just has to resonate. The seventh pillar, street language, is the word on the street. It's knowing what to say, when to say it, how to say it. You know, um, we used to live in the era of jive turkey. Now we live in the era of lit. These are all forms of street slang or, you know, street language, which is very important within hip hop. The eighth pillar, street knowledge. It's knowing when to move, how to move, and when not to move. Um, but it's all about, you know, um, your conditioning within the culture, within your elements, uh, excuse me, within your environment. Um, like I said, uh, hip hop was really brought forward um, in 1973. So in the 70s, within New York, times were really, really hard. Um, really, really hard. Um, nothing to really wear, nothing to really um, eat, you know what I'm saying? Uh, job opportunities were super low. So in order for you to survive, in order for you to thrive in the urban jungle, you had to know what kind of moves to make and you had to have that street knowledge in order to be successful. Last but not least, my favorite pillar, street entrepreneurialism. That's when you take that lemon that you've been given and you make nothing but the sweetest lemonade out of it, you know? You take your knowledge of all the elements and pillars which were mentioned, you mix them all together in a pot and you make profit off of it. You make profit off of it. You don't let anybody else profit off of your talents, your knowledge, your language, your beatboxing, your b-boying, none of that. It's all you, it's all home grown. Nothing is instant. Everything takes time. And it takes a village uh, to raise a child, if you will. So I've been a child of this village here in the culture of hip hop and in Charlottesville. And every lesson that I've learned, everything that I've done, I've reapplied it so that others can use it, others can learn from it. And I've been a provider for others in this community so that they can grow just like I have, so that they have the opportunities to, you know, step out of the box and not be so typical, um, so predictable with their movements. All right, so to sum everything up, I have given you the four elements of hip hop, which are breaking, DJing, rapping, and graffiti. And also I gave you the nine pillars as a whole, but the five additional pillars were beatboxing, street knowledge, street language, street fashion, and street entrepreneurialism. Now I do wanna fall back into one of the elements real quick and, and just touch on DJing for a second. DJs have always had a hard job. They've always been the vocal cords, you know what I'm saying, the backbone for this culture. Over the last, say, 20 years or so, the job has changed. Um, as far as the DJs making the instrumentation which falls behind the, the MC, which moves the crowd, gotta say that. Um, they don't do that so much now. It's really the producers that are really pushing those sounds forward now. So in all honesty, producers have turned themselves into their own elements. So shout outs to all the producers making it happen. Um, keep doing what you're doing. And now that you all have been informed on the four elements and nine pillars of hip hop, my name is Remy L. St. Clair. And I'll check y'all later. <laughs>